Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Oh, oh, oh. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Coming on the old bench. All right, we're going to uh, make some ginger beer or homemade ginger ale. So before you start, what you will need to have is four lemons, nice good fresh ones, enough ginger root so that when you grate it up it's going to make four cups of grated ginger root. Uh, you'll need uh, some brewer's yeast. You can use um, the yeast you use for bread making. Uh, but I prefer, this uh, is called um, Cooper's Brewing Yeast. I get it at um, the local store that sells wine and beer making supplies. But you'll need uh, about 7 grams of yeast. You'll need 4 cups of sugar. And you will need 2 gallons of water. Then to make it you'll need a food processor. You'll need something to get lemon zest off. I use just a nice big grater, hand grater. You'll need a juicer to get the lemon juice out. You will need a strainer and a funnel and one large pot or two smaller ones. I break mine up into two one gallon um, cooking pots. Uh, you'll also need the bottles. Now, I like to use the uh, um, bottles they sell for making homemade beer because they have the nice um, caps that are easy to seal and they look pretty nice and they're reusable. This recipe is going to make about 15 or 16 500 milliliter bottles. So you can use these bottles or you can use uh, recycled uh, plastic bottles with good tight screw caps on them. If you are using the glass bottles like I do, you, you do need to have at least one plastic bottle because that's going to uh, help you know when your uh, ginger ale has uh, fermented enough and um, the plastic bottle will show you when to start to refrigerate it. We'll talk about that later. So those are the supplies that you're going to need. Now, I double, I make a big uh, double recipe and I recommend that the first time you try making ginger ale, half my recipe. Uh, because everybody's taste is different. This ginger ale is really very gingery, very tart, very uh, um, um, not not very sweet and some people might like to add more sugar or less sugar also with the yeast it's, it can be a little tricky sometimes if you let it ferment too long uh, it'll over um, ferment and or if you don't let it ferment long enough your ginger ale will be flat so the first time you do it half the recipe that I'm making and then you can see how yours turns out okay so with the ginger ginger is a root uh, grows underground so make sure that when you get it you wash it you're not going to peel it but I've washed this and I've cut off any sort of discolored parts or uh, you know if there's any dirt or, or earth still on it so make sure your ginger is nice and clean because we're not going to peel it same thing with the lemons I've washed them and I've cut off any um, uh, blemishes or any parts that don't look very uh, appetizing all right, step one. We're going to start our water boiling. So as I said, I make a double batch. So I've got two gallons, which is uh, about four liters of water. I'm going to put a gallon in each pot. Now two gallons of water. I'm going to put them on the stove and start them boiling. All right. Now, while that's starting to boil, I'm going to prepare the lemon zest. Now, you don't want to get any of the white 
of the lemon. You just want the yellow. So I'm just going to go around. If you have a lemon zester, I suppose you can use that. I find this is just as quick for me. And you don't want to take off too much, just the yellow. So I'm going to zest up those four lemons. I'm going to put uh, the zest of two of them into the pot of water uh, as soon as they're ready. And then once the water starts boiling, I'm going to add the ginger um, that I've whisked up in the food processor. You're going to want to get about uh, two cups per gallon. Now that's, that's a lot of ginger, but uh, my family and I love a good um, sharp ginger ale. So take a ginger and to put a few pieces. Cut them up a little smaller. And then we're going to whiz them up in the food processor. Okay, just until we have some pretty nice small chunks. And we're going to aim for about two cups per gallon of water. Two lemons per gallon of water, two lemon, the zests of two lemons as well as the juice of the two lemons. So here we have about two cups of grated ginger. And then I'll do the other two for the other pot. And we'll add those when they're all ready. Okay, so we've got a pot of boiling water. And I have my lemon zest. So I've divided it into two. I'm going to put the zest from two lemons into one pot. Then I'm going to add two cups of sugar to each pot. So my total is four cups of sugar. And then I'm going to add my two cups of grated ginger to this pot. And the last thing is you're going to take your lemons and you're going to juice them, and each pot gets the juice from two lemon. Lots of good stuff in here, vitamins and yummy healthy stuff. Alright, so there's the juice from two of the lemons. Alright, so we've got, I'm going to stir it up, grated ginger two cups, zest of two lemons, juice of two lemons, and two cups of white sugar. So now that you've got this boiling, I'm going to get the other pot ready in a minute. You're going to cover it, let it simmer slowly for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, turn off the heat and let it sit for a couple more hours until it's lukewarm and we'll pick it up from there.